Welcome back to the channel. Now following Everal Warmington statements about money. The Finance Minister, Nigel Clark, and the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, are now facing trouble from those statements. As the annual March budget debate is set to begin soon, the people are now looking at the new banknotes issued by the Jamaican government. Said to be more durable and more long lasting. Now the people are saying this is clearly not true. With the money not being in circulation as long as previous notes. Would the face them start rubber for the money already? Now we know the people must say money not circulate at Jamaica. But from that fifth dollar picture we see a circulate social media. It sounds like I rather look like the fifth dollar have been around the world. It's like all 14 parish are seen this specific fifth dollar. And the people must say, I hold up notes like this. They must say something half of the money. The people are now asking that the finance minister and the prime minister waste taxpayer dollars by having these new type of notes made. And another the people know say cost the government. I think I don't even want to say billions. But I run about that. Forget these new batch of money printed. But I don't know. But from Mr. Warmington, say what I'm saying. Things have never been the same for the administration. It's like everything the JLP do from that time until now. The people might call it a mistake. The people that say enough thought wasn't put into the decision. The people might wonder who was there during decision making. But talk to me in the comment section. Me ask you. You feel like the new money did worth it? You feel like it was worth however much the government spent on having these new money or these new notes designed and printed on new material? Do you feel like the notes are as durable as what they must say? In all fairness, no. It is fair to say, maybe, the state was promised one thing. And now when them check it out, the money isn't as durable as they were led to believe. And them being led to believe this, them also said this to the people. When the fifth line, I don't know. And if you have seen other notes like this for yourself personally, tell me in the comment section. Other well, people, I'm still said they know you're not about the illicit six. And since the Auditor General report has it been tabled and now they might get ready for the annual budget debate it seems as if we're not hear nothing more about that for now talk to me in the comment section tell me what you think now on to the other stories making headlines today also making headlines today now the situation in Gregory Park that they see in one side of the community being pinned against another side of the community the residents are saying situation too much and it's going now for far too long now while the real issue or the real reason for the situation where it takes place in the community is often more complex than even the people in way are a part of the situation carrying into the real reason why it start and why it is ongoing the people must say it's too much and together with law enforcement and elected officials are trying to bring change to the community. Recently, there was a large scale operation carried out in the community in which illegal weapons were recovered. And it's also said that an individual's life was taken. Remember, could from law enforcement and they will contain the reason nation. Look and listen. And we are here because of an operation that started at midnight. Um, several teams moved in this area based on intelligence that we have been gathering over the past few days and weeks. We have been having some challenges in the River Park area. Um, several reports of shootings and murders within the general River Park area. And so last night, a joint military police team came in the area whilst they were in um, 
was they were pardoned in the area. Several men ran in several directions. The person was fired on, you know, by some men in a particular house at the location. The police took evasive action and returned fire. One man was later found suffering from gunshot wounds. He was rushed to the Spanish gun hospital. He was reported that he later pronounced that one 9mm pistol was taken from him. A further search of the area, um, the team <coughs> found one AK-47 rifle, one shotgun, several assorted rounds of ammunition, and a ballistic vest. Um, the operation continues. Uh, we believe that there are more guns in this general area, and so the team will be focused in this area a little while longer. They have been here for over eight hours now. I really want to commend the team for the kind of response, the coordination between the military, the um, intel teams, the specialized operations, and our local teams. And of course, I believe we had strong um, operational leadership on the ground um, last night into this morning. Um, well, sir, at it, I know that residents have been crying out for our assistance in these communities. I thank them for believing in the police and I just want to reassure them that we are not going to leave them to the mercy of these criminals. We are going to relentlessly pursue criminals within the St. Catherine's South Division. In fact, it is six weapons in less than 24 hours because you are aware that yesterday we had a similar find in the central village here where we found another three weapons in that community. Um, I just want to again. No, I'm going to see what the continued fueling for when it drives one community into two communities, then the same community get divided again into different, different sections. Was an individual who live in these communities for only can go to the boundaries. Means if a group of other part of the community and only other part of the community they see. And too often we see scenarios where in communities we see people have family members at a different part of the community. And then we tell us the only time them really see them family member there is outside of the community. They're not going to really go up a house part. Them people they live. And if you ask them why, they might say because of house part, them live. And these are people we are talking about hard working normal citizens. Both man and woman. That can good for your community. And as I'm saying in another video, sometimes these reprisals are going for so long that the younger generation may even grow up in the community now become inherit the community violence they don't know why they go on and the mindset i create an endless cycle of community violence with no end in sight for no clear reason and people have started theorize that it must be individuals overseas who fund these type of actions because the money now generate from the community and the people have asked now then, why is it that people overseas feel like them to send them money back a yard to create problems a yard? Why them can't help out the community? Help the people and build up some house, start some business, put some care up on the road, something legitimate, start a company, a factory. Why the money will come a yard after your fuel? Crime and violence. What a sense. Take over the community to do what? What are you What's the purpose? The people in Naga can tell you. They don't know. Talk to me in the comment section. It's a different situation, do we? Hopefully. The people. Because the people must say enough is enough. Hard working people. People who go to school. People want to try to better themselves in the community. I say, yo, they must see what this is for. And hopefully, we can start to see a more peaceful Gregory Park. 
as they know of plans for Portmore to be and the parish and things of that nature. Hopefully soon things are better for residents of Gregory Park. Now if you're new to the channel to pass through, click subscribe icon and then the bell icon and of course put up on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you. Now until the reason again my sentiments for you and yours that you live, love and prosper and you stay tuned.